butterflies are found across the U.S. and internationally into to Mexico and Canada. They're really most special because they um, are the butterflies that are most known to um, members of the general public. Anybody, if they know a butterfly, they know monarchs. Monarchs are um, in a group of butterflies that all have kind of royal sounding names. Uh, also here in Phoenix, we have the queen butterfly, which is closely related to the monarch. Phoenix welcomes this migrating royal monarch butterfly each year in September and waves a fond farewell around May. Beautiful, intriguing, and mystifying as they may be, their western population has declined dramatically. From 1.2 million observed in 1997 to less than 2,000 in 2020. For monarchs to survive, they, um, they first need milkweed. That's the only plant that the caterpillars can eat. And so without milkweeds, we can't continue the generations. Monarchs will, will cease to exist. So we need more milkweed in the habitats. We've lost a lot of milkweed, a lot of our native nectar plants to either development or things like climate change, environmental disasters that have reduced the habitat that's available. On April 30th, 2021, Mayor Kate Gallego signed the National Wildlife Federation's Mayor Monarch Pledge, committing the city to take action to support the monarch population. The mayor signed this pledge back in April, and basically what it says is the city of Phoenix is committed to helping to support the monarch butterfly population. You know, we recognize how important this is. It's a key pollinator species. We know that it comes and comes through Phoenix, comes through Arizona, uses us as migratory habitat, and we want to make sure that we are helping to provide the migratory resources that the species need to be able to complete its life cycle and its migration cycle. So basically the pledge says, we as the city of Phoenix will commit to taking certain actions every year to support that Monarch Butterfly Pledge. Amongst many partnerships, the Desert Botanical Garden is one of them, and they have been crucial. The females of the monarchs will lay eggs and they seek out one specific plant called milkweed, and they lay the egg on the milkweed. The egg hatches out into a caterpillar, and the caterpillar is eating the milkweed leaves for about two weeks and then it forms a chrysalis, and out of the chrysalis comes the monarch butterfly, completing the life cycle. Without milkweed, monarchs can't survive. Monarchs are one of the only um, insects that we can actually get an accurate population count every year. Because they go to these overwintering sites, they're all clustered in either California or Mexico. So we can actually get counts of how the population is doing every year. We can't do that for a lot of other butterflies, bees, and things that don't migrate and cluster like that. Rio Salado Restoration Project has several efforts underway to promote native plant growth and supports habitats for monarchs and other species, including a monarch waystation garden. For residents, planting pollinator plants and milkweed this fall is key but this is just the beginning. Pollination um, is important for many plants. A good number of our plants, um, I think 75% to 90% of our plants require insect pollination or animal po pollination to move pollen from um, one plant to another and then it can fruit. And especially for us as humans, um, a lot of the food we eat, a lot of the, the vegetables and other food that, that um, we do consume and rely on are animal pollinated. So if pollinators were to disappear, we would have a lot less food available. The city across the board has committed to work with the Environmental Programs Office to support the Monarch. This is an interdepartmental project inviting residents and the community to get involved. Plant and protect. One of the big things that just happened in September is the Mayor, Mayor Gallego proclaimed September as Planting for Monarchs Month in Phoenix. 
So this is an effort to really get the word out to the community to say, hey, let's all work together to plant native habitat, plant native milkweed, plant native nectar plants um, that are native to the Sonoran Desert area um, to help support this monarch butterfly population. Working together as a community, we can make a difference. For more information, go to phoenix.gov forward slash OEP forward slash monarch. And don't forget, visit the Desert Botanical Garden and the Rio Salado Restoration Project. For Phoenix TV, I'm Deborah Sadio Dugan.